To get to work, a man walked 20 miles. Well, until a cop caught up with him. As the police car approached, he continued to walk forward, with the car following closely behind him, but he didn't stop. He only needed to make it 10 miles before he was out of danger. It didn't matter that his legs were burning as he walked faster, because there was no stopping him. He looked at his watch and accelerated his pace even more. And here is a man who walked 20 miles to work, until a police officer followed him, and discovers why. Walter Carr and his mother had relocated to Homewood, Alabama, following a tragic event in their lives. Having lost everything in the monster Hurricane Katrina, they hoped to rebuild their lives and start over in a new location. Walter was a 20-year-old student, but he was determined to find work in order to provide for his mother's financial needs. He had no idea how difficult that would prove to be in the long run. Walter had heard that a position was available at Bellhops, a moving company that was about 20 miles away from his home. He applied right away. It was a long drive, but he had his trusty old car, so he drove over and filled out the application, and he was fortunate enough to be called in for an interview right away. He shook the hiring manager's hand and expressed his willingness to begin the following day. If only things were that simple. Suddenly, his old car came spluttering to a halt, mere feet away from his front door. While opening the hood and peering inside, Walter's heart started to race a little faster. His car chose this day, out of all the days, to finally give up and die. To his dismay, smoke poured out of the engine, and he realized there was no way he could get it started again. Walter took out his phone and called the manager of Bellhops to inform him that he would not be starting the job after all. Then he had a change of heart. Walter was young and in good shape, but 20 miles seemed like an insurmountable obstacle, but Walter was determined. Maybe he'll be able to pull it off. The moment he typed in the address into Google Maps, he burst into tears and felt defeated. He'd have to walk for seven hours to get there, and he didn't have the money to get his car fixed in time. What was Walter supposed to do? He was desperate for this position. His mother was unable to keep up with the mortgage payments, and they were forced to move out of their home within a month. Walter couldn't let something like that happen. As a last resort, he set his alarm for 12 am and tried to get a good night's sleep. When the clock struck 12 o'clock in the morning, Walter awoke. In his most comfortable sneakers, he donned his jacket and set off into the night. It would take him seven hours to get there, but he was determined to make it in time for the bellhop's client, as if walking the exhausting 20 miles wasn't enough of a challenge. Walter's life decided to throw him another curveball this time. Despite the fact that Walter had started his walk at a brisk pace, by the time he had reached the halfway point, his legs were beginning to shake. His face was dripping with sweat, and his feet were burning. He walked more than 10 miles, and the effort was taking its toll on him. The prospect of losing his job on the first day kept him motivated as he concentrated on putting one foot in front of the other, over and over again. Then he noticed a flash of blue light. That he hadn't noticed because he was too preoccupied with keeping his legs moving. However, a car had been following for the last 10 minutes. His alarm went off at 4.20 am, and he still had miles and miles to go before sunrise. Then the car flashed its lights and blared a short warning siren, and he knew they were there for him. A police officer pulled up beside Walter, and he turned his head to see him. Where you're rushing off to buddy? The officer inquired, his voice firm? He'd had a rough and late night on patrol duty, and the last thing he needed was to get himself into more difficulty. When Walter couldn't take another breath, he tried to respond without breaking his stride. He was all too conscious of the fact that the clock was ticking. Walter was ordered into the car by the officer, who had had enough. 
He was not interested in learning what this young man was doing on the street at such an inconvenient hour. As far as he was concerned, he was up to no good. However, when Walter finally managed to draw enough breath to explain the reason for his late-night wanderings, his eyes widened in surprise. Despite the fact that Officer Sean Gray had witnessed many things in his life, the determination of this young boy took his breath away. They drove for the next six miles in silence until Walter noticed the house in the distance and pulled over. A wave of relief washed over him. He made it just in time before the clock ran out. Walter thanked Officer Gray and got out of the car with a shaky gait, but there were still more surprises in store for him. During that fateful day, the police officer escorted Walter to the front door and explained to the homeowner, Jenny Hayden Lamy, how he had walked 14 miles on foot to assist her with her move. She was taken aback by his commitment to the cause. When the rest of the bellhop's crew arrived, Walter immediately got to work packing boxes and loading them into the moving van, working tirelessly. He was completely exhausted, but he kept going. Then Jenny wrote a post on Facebook that went viral overnight. It read, Yesterday was a long day, but a good day. Chris and I woke up around 5.45 am to get everything staged and ready for the movers. Approximately 6.30 am. The doorbell rang. It was a police officer. In the following conversation, he informed us that he had picked up this pleasant young man in Pelham early this morning. Walter, the friendly young man, informed us that he was scheduled to assist us with our relocation today. It was his first day on the job with his moving company, Bell Hops, and he was in the midst of his training. Afterwards, the officer explained that Walter's car had broken down the previous evening, and that he had no idea how he would get to work the following morning. As a result, he left Homewood at midnight, and began walking to Pelham on 280. It took him the better part of the night to get from Homewood to Pelham because he needed to get to work on time. Because Jenny was so moved by Walter's determination to get to work, she decided to set up a GoFundMe account to help him raise the money he needed to repair his vehicle. The goal was set at $2,000. The original amount was exceeded by a whopping $32,000 after Madison read Jenny's heartfelt post, according to the company. However, Walter's actions attracted the attention of Bellhop, CEO Luke Martin, and Martin immediately jumped into his Ford Escape, and drove all the way from Tennessee, to Homewood to meet with Walter. When he arrived, he handed the keys over to Walter, who was delighted. Walter couldn't believe what he was seeing. The CEO of Bellhops had just presented him with his own personal vehicle. Walter began to cry because it was all too much for him to bear. It was the first time he'd ever been treated with such generosity, as the entire community rallied around him and encouraged him to continue. In addition to Walter's exemplary behavior, Jenny's original Facebook post has received an astounding 2,000 shares and comments since it was published on May 1st. I'm definitely really touched by his journey as well, commented one person in response to the video. It's amazing how many reasons we can come up with for not doing something. However, there are some people, such as Walter, who don't believe in making excuses and simply do it. Another life is made up of trials and tribulations. Walter passed the test with flying colors because he is a gracious and humble individual. I can't imagine how many times he wished he could turn around on that lonely walk down 200 in the middle of the night. How many times did he wonder if this was the best idea? How many times did he wish he could find a quiet place to sit or lie down and wait until morning? when he might be able to get someone to pick him up and take him back home. But he walked until he got here, Jenny wrote in awe. Walter's dedication to his job has become a symbol of the hard-working American, and the determination has even inspired a hashtag movement, dubbed hashtag be like Walter on social media. Walter, on the other hand, remains humble and shrugs off all the attention, 
saying, I just walked. He inspired to become a Marine one day, and he has unquestionably demonstrated to the world that he is capable of achieving anything he sets his mind to. In the interest of a better world, let us all strive to be better people. Check out these really shocking life stories on your screen. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Browse our channel for more unbelievable life stories. See you in the next video.